Good morning, guys. I hope you had a nice, restful, peaceful day yesterday. And today we are going to go right back into it. We've talked about length, measuring length. We've talked about measuring volume or liquid. And we've talked about measuring, measuring weight or mass. And today we're going to compare some of our um, measurements. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write kind of a key. And I think you should pause the video grab a piece of paper and do this with me so you have it right in front of you. Um, otherwise, I will take a picture of this when I'm done. First thing, just really small. We're gonna write down the measurements of length, uh, volume, and of weight, and we're just gonna have it right there for us. So first thing, inches. to write inch. Remember an inch is about a paper clip. Then we're going to write foot. A foot is 12. A foot is 12 inches. We're going to do yard. One yard is three feet. And then I'm going to add one that we didn't actually talk about last time and it's going to be a mile. You know what a mile is. Usually we use this when we're talking about driving or you run. You run a mile. And one mile is, and I wrote it down because I can't remember this big number, 1,760 feet. I'm sorry. Yards. So it's even more feet, right? We'd have to multiply that number by three to get the amount of feet. All right. Next we're going to do volume. Now we're talking about liquid. And remember we had fluid, ounce, and that was about a spoonful. About the amount you can have in a spoon, that's about a fluid ounce. So we have a cup, one cup is eight fluid ounces. Remember we had that big G with the Q's and the P's and the C's. That was our little key. You can pull that picture up also to help you with this. Um, but then we had a pint. I'm getting hot over here. One pint is two cups. And we had a quart. One quart is two pints. And then we had a gallon. And one gallon is four. Quartz. Remember we had that big G, and then in there we had four quarts, and each quart we had two pints, and each pint we had two cups. And then we didn't draw all the fluid ounces because that would be way too many. And then we're going to do weight or mass. And then here we had ounce, which is why we write fluid ounce here because we're talking about liquid. Here we just write ounce, and that was about a strawberry. So if we imagine holding a strawberry, it's about an ounce. And then pound equals 16 ounces. And then we had a ton, which was like a small car, which equals 2,000 pounds. Remember, pound is LB, which is a weird way to write that. So this is just going to be here as our key, as our guide. And we're going to do some comparing. So we're going to use uh, less than, greater than, or equal to in this part. So for example, let me get, I have problems already. If I can get into my problems. So let's, for example, do, let's say I have 12 inches of one foot. Greater than, less than, or equal to. One foot equals 12 inches. They're the same thing. Boom. But we're going to get a little more complicated. 
So. so the next one we're going to do is let's have one yard and four feet. One yard and four feet. Well, let's see. One yard equals three feet. So what's bigger? Three feet or four feet? Four feet. Right? So we're going to start getting two different kind of measurements and we have to decide which one's bigger. So let's do a few more. See if I can get you. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go to volume. We're going to do six pints. I don't think I need that. Six pints and three quarts. Six pints and three quarts. Well, let's see. If I have a quart, each quart is two pints. Each of these is two pints. Well, three times two is six. Six pints or six pints. We have another one that's equal. So this is why it's important to kind of have something like this right in front of you. You also have all of the all of the anchor charts and posters that we've done before, so you should be fine. You should have it right in front of you. Um, but if you don't want to flip between each one, we can just do it on here. So let's say we have 40 inches and one yard. 40 inches and one yard. I'm going to look at the yards. Well, one yard equals three feet. Okay, but that doesn't help me still because this is inches and that's feet. So now I need to convert this or change this into inches. Well, one foot is 12 inches. So I need to do that three times. 12 times three. Three times two is six. Three times one is three. 36 inches. So what's bigger, 36 inches or 40 inches? 40 inches is bigger than one yard. Let's do a few more examples. Let's see, let's see, let's do, we're gonna go to weight. We're gonna do three pounds. I don't know why I keep on doing that. Three pounds and 50 ounces. Okay. I usually like to take the bigger one and convert it into a smaller one for some reason, but there are lots of ways to do it. Because for me, multiplying is easier than dividing, so that's why I go that way. So it's like three pounds, one pound is 16 ounces. I have three. So let's do 16 times three. Right? Because one pound is 16 ounces, but I have three pounds. 3 times 16. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So 48 ounces. What's bigger? 48 or 50? 50. So 50 ounces is bigger than 3 pounds. Alright. Let's do a couple more examples. Let's see. Ooh, I got a good one. Okay. One gallon, remember that's gal, and 15 cups. One gallon and 15 cups. So again, I like to start with the bigger one, but that's up to you. So I have one gallon. One gallon equals four quarts. Okay. Quarts and cups is still not the same. One quart equals two pints. So for every one of these, I have two pints. So four times two is eight. So I have eight pints. Pints and cups still doesn't help. For each pint, I have two cups. So now we're getting somewhere. So two cups of eight times two is 16 cups. So what's bigger? 16 over 15. 16. So one gallon is bigger than 15 cups. Alright, so 
You will not have a Khan Academy quiz on this. What you're going to do is you're going to go on to Flipgrid and you're going to make a video. I have a problem there for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, um, mostly because I don't remember what it is. But you're going to have one problem. It's going to look something like this. Three feet, 30 inches. And you have to tell me what the answer is. Not only do you have to tell me what the answer is, you have to tell me how you got that answer. How do you know? So you might say, okay, three feet, 30 inches. One foot is 12 inches. So 12 times three, three feet is 36 inches. 36 or 30. So you can do this by just talking. You can do this by showing me on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. You can show me using objects. However is easiest for you, that's what you're going to do on Flipgrid. Um, and then on Khan Academy, you'll just have multiply by 7 and divide by 7, and that's it. Alright guys, so now with Restart, we're on chapter 15. Remember we ended a couple days ago when we're starting to learn more about the Medal of Honor and we're starting to learn that something's going on uh, with that medal and Chase is trying to figure out, he's kind of having a dilemma on what to do. So now we're back to the perspective or the point of view of Brendan. Um, and we're going to read from his point of view. So chapter 15, Brendan Espinoza. Of all the video clubs in all the middle schools, she has to walk into mine. The minute Kimberly Tooley showed up in Miss DeLeo's room, I was lost. Love at first sight. For me, for me, unfortunately, not for her. I mean, she's in love, all right, with Chase. A few months ago, it would have been easy for me to hate Chase, but he's a different person since his accident. And the more I get to know him, the more I like him. Now, what am I supposed to do? Hate someone I like because of pure jealousy? That's just as unfair as when Chase used to pick on me. Maybe more, since he truly seems to have no idea that Kimberly likes him. How annoying is that? I've lied down on railroad tracks for an ounce of her attention. And here's Chase, totally oblivious to the fact that she's practically drooling over him. Exactly how hard did that kid fall on his head? So I've got Kimberly in my video club. Okay. I don't own it, but I'm the president. It's a golden opportunity for me to make an impression on her. And who's sucking all the air out of the room? Our rising star, Chase. I've got no one but myself to blame. I recruited him. I raved about his camera skills. When the others wanted to keep him out, I shouted them down. Slowly but surely, they all began to accept and appreciate him. Even Shoshana isn't quite as anti-Chase anymore. Their project on Mr. Sawway is coming out fantastic. I've seen some of the footage, and it's going to blow the judges away. Their biggest problem is they're shooting so much great material that it's going to be impossible to figure out what to cut. And that opens an opportunity. With Shoshana and Chase wrapped up in their video war hero, and the others focused on the video yearbook, all I have to do is get Kimberly to work with me on a new clip for YouTube. Then she'll start to see me as the famous YouTuber I'm destined to be. Not the 8th grade nerd she finds so much less interesting than Chase. It's foolproof. No, she says. Why not, I wheedle. It'll be a great chance for you to practice your camera work. Is it for the yearbook? It's way better. It's for YouTube. And your name will be right at the top as a co-producer. No, she says again. In total desperation, I blurt, Chase is going to be there. The change is instant. Really? Guess what? She's in. Now all I have to do is convince Chase to sign on with us. Come to think of it, the purpose of this is to turn her off Chase and onto me. I don't think I'm going about it the right way. This whole romance thing is way more complicated than I anticipated. But when I approach Chase, he's not that enthusiastic either. You know, I don't have a lot of free time, he tells me. Shoshana and I are really busy with Mr. Solway. I'm pleading now. You've got to help me out. Kimberly begged me to rake her along, and you know how lousy she is with the camera. If you don't come, the whole video is going to be upside down. He sighs. All right, Brendan, I'll be there. By now, the project is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Luckily, I have an amazing idea. 
It's called Leaf Man. I know that when Kimberly sees me starring in this, she'll be impressed. It could be, it could very well be the video that finally takes me viral. We meet in the park the next day after school. I've got everything we need. A morph suit, rollerblades, and 11 bottles of pancake syrup. I handed Kimberly camera one and Chase camera two, although I'm pretty sure Chase's footage will be the real video. Anything un, un, anything usable Kimberly shoots will be a happy accident. I duck behind a tree and take out the morph suit. To my dismay, it's white. I specifically told mom to get black. I'm going to look like a bowling pin in front of Kimberly, but it's too late to fix that now. I put on the suit and the rollerblades and glide back to Chase and Kimberly. All right, you guys, dump the syrup all over me. If the goal is to get Kimberly to notice me, mission accomplished. Why, she asks, wide-eyed. I point to the far end of the park, to the giant mountain of leaves the gardeners have blown in the corner. I cover myself in sticky syrup and rollerblade down the hill into the leaves. When I come out, it's Leaf Man. She's bewildered. Who's Leaf Man? I'm Leaf Man. All the leaves are going to be stuck to the syrup, see? And the video will be called Leaf Man. So Chase takes pity on me. It's going to be awesome. He opens one of the bottles and pours a thick stream over my head. Even through the morph suit fabric, it feels gooey and gross. The things I do for my art. And Kimberly, of course, although that doesn't seem to be working too well. Eleven bottles later, I'm covered in this stuff and starting to draw flies. All right, I say, let's do this. Confession. I'm not the greatest rollerblader in the world, and I can't get up the hill. I keep rolling back farther than I make it forward. They have to haul me to the top, Kimberly dragging me by the wrists and Chase pushing from behind. We get some strange looks, although nowhere near the number we're, we've bound to attract when we shoot the actual video. Production is put on hold a few minutes while my camera people wash the stickiness off their hands and get into position by the leaf pile. At last, Chase flashes me the high sign. Oops. And I ease my weight off the foot brake and sense the slope starting to move me slowly forward. The slowly part doesn't last very long. The acceleration happens much faster than I expected. In a few seconds, I'm hurling down the path a di at dizzying speed. Proper rollerblade form says I should crouch for better balance, but I'm too scared to bend my locked knees. I can actually feel the G-force forming the syrup on my face into thin streams. With a sinking heart, I realize that this video may go even more viral than I thought. Not as Leaf Man, but as Kid breaks every bone in his body in goo-drenched rollerblade stunt. Through a brownish film of syrup, I spot Kimberly and Chase on either side of the mountain of leaves. Flip cams pointed at me. At least Chase's is pointed at me. Kimberly seems to be filming the air above my head. Then they're gone, and all I can see is the leaf pile barreling toward me. I hit the leaves with a thump and end up buried at least four feet inside the mountain before my momentum stops. I lie there for a moment, stunned, listening to the muffled sound of Chase laughing from the outside world. It takes a long time to fight my way out of the mess, because a lot of the mess is coming with me, stuck by syrup to the morph suit. When I rip the leaves off my face, I see the pile is about a third as big as it used to be, and the sky is dancing with blowing debris. As soon as I can, as soon as I can breathe, I finish the script by thrusting a fist in the air and bellowing, Leaf Man! I never quite get the second syllable out because I'm bowled over by a big golden retriever who climbs on top of me, licking at the syrup. I can already hear the chorus of barking and I know that every dog in the park is heading my direction. At least they'll keep the flies at bay. I struggle up and try to skate away, but the wheels on my blazer jammed with syrup-soaked leaves. I take three clumsy steps before landing flat on my face, where I'm immediately buried under a canine swarm. I'm gratified to see that Chase is still filming, his hands steady even though he's doubled over with hilarity. I don't get it, Kimberly says over the dog slurping. Is this supposed to be funny? 
The amazing thing is that after all this, I still like Kimberly just as much as before, maybe even more. Love isn't just blind, it's also totally stupid. So that was from the perspective of Brendan, and I just want to know, after listening to that, would you want to be friends with Brendan? Yes or no? If yes, why? What about him? If no, why? Why not? Um, that's all that you're answering today.